Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtualization How To. I'm Brandon Lee, and today I've got some big news for VMware users, especially for those who might have felt a bit of sticker shock this past year with all of the licensing changes from Broadcom. Broadcom is making a move that is going to get a lot of attention. They're bringing back the VMware vSphere standard and Enterprise Plus licenses, along with some serious improvements to vSAN storage capacity. So let's dive into the details. So here is the TLDR for today's news. Broadcom is introducing these updates starting in November 2024. They're bringing back the VMware vSphere standard and Enterprise Plus licenses and adding a major boost to vSAN storage. In fact, two and a half times more capacity per core to be exact for VMware vSphere Foundation customers. And they're also adding some flexibility with subscription links, pricing, and payment methods making it easier for customers to manage those costs. Okay, so let's dive a bit more into the details. Starting in November, Broadcom is rolling out an increase in vSAN capacity with 250 gigs of storage per core for vSphere Foundation customers. This increase addresses what's been a major issue for a lot of folks, high costs for vSAN storage on a per gigabyte basis. Broadcom is hearing customers loud and clear and making vSAN a more affordable option. Option. And this is especially important for HCI solutions as it may help bring back some of that momentum for vSAN, which has been dwindling a bit due to those licensing costs. I personally have worked with organizations that have pivoted back to traditional storage simply due to the rising cost of vSAN. But here's the headline that many of you have probably been waiting for. vSphere Standard and vSphere Enterprise Plus are back. If compute virtualization is your primary need, Broadcom is now offering these once again as licensing tiers, providing a more straightforward and affordable way to access VMware's flagship hypervisor without needing to bundle all of the extra VMware vSphere components such as vSAN, NSX, or the VMware ARIA suite. So all in all, what does this mean for VMware customers? Well, for one, Broadcom has acknowledged the changes that they've made this past year have been a bit much for customers. In fact, many have considered VMware alternatives. By bringing back vSphere Standard and Enterprise Plus, Broadcom is giving VMware users a way to get back to simple compute virtualization that they need without the added costs of VMware vSphere Foundation or VMware Cloud Foundation packages. It's clear they're trying to meet customers where they are and potentially make staying with VMware more attractive with these new options available. Now, the big question on everyone's mind is, will this be enough? Well, there's no question that some organizations have already started looking at alternatives like Nutanix, Proxbox, or XCPNG, and we've seen a tremendous influx of interest from data protection solutions looking to cover these hypervisors. But for those who were on the fence, this change could potentially be a deciding factor in sticking with VMware. If your organization values the power of vSphere for compute virtualization, but wants a more flexible, affordable licensing option, this may be exactly what you're looking for. So there you have it. Broadcom is making some big moves with VMware licensing, bringing back VMware vSphere Standard and Enterprise Plus and boosting vSAN storage options. For those of us who see VMware as one of the best hypervisors on the market, this is exciting news. If you're interested in learning more, check out the written blog post for even more details that I've posted this morning. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications of future videos. Well, please do stay safe out there, keep on home blast, and I will see you on the next video.